The future is here. Currently, the anniversary of the launch of the James Webb Telescope is approaching in leaps and bounds. With the publication of the first Webb images in July of this year, the most powerful space telescope of all time demonstrated its technical prowess in a pictorial way. And already, the use of our new eye in space is a roaring success story. On the occasion of the upcoming launch anniversary, we would like to look back with you today at some remarkable web milestones of the past weeks, which have left both experts and the interested public in disbelieving amazement. But before we get started, remember to click the subscribe button and activate the bell to never miss one of our videos again. Feel free to give us a thumbs up for keeping you engaged with our detours to the greatest mysteries of the cosmos. The Launch of the Future When the James Webb Telescope set out on December 25, 2021, to venture into the far reaches of space, it wasn't alone. According to the report, the combined hopes of the international scientific community were also on board the $10 billion device. The experts expect nothing less from Webb's mission than to revolutionize our understanding of the universe. In order to realize these ambitious goals, Webb has been entrusted with four main scientific tasks. First and foremost is the search for the first luminous objects and galaxies born after the Big Bang and during the so-called Dark Ages. Furthermore, the structure-forming processes of the cosmos are expected to be understood more precisely than ever before, and the analysis of the formation and development mechanisms of galaxies, black holes, and the like is one of the exciting fields of research to which Webb is devoting itself as part of its assignment. Last but not least, the experts hope to get closer to answering one of the most fundamental questions in human history. Are we alone in the universe? To unravel this mystery, Webb will examine exoplanets, study their atmospheres, and draw conclusions about their potential habitability. To understand the often cited power of the telescope, it's worth taking a look at the following example. In theory, from Earth, Webb would be able to detect the warmth of a bumblebee on the lunar surface. Designed specifically for infrared astronomy, the complex instrument is up to 100 times more sensitive to electromagnetic waves than its predecessor Hubble. This unprecedented technical precision allows Webb to peer into the previously hidden interiors of stellar phenomena, revealing the chemical composition of exoplanetary atmospheres in greater detail than ever before. Stellar Baby Just how mind-blowing the unencrypted glimpse into the spectacles of the cosmos can prove to be is also illustrated by one unique web image recently released. Going by the specific name Protostar in the Dark Cloud L1527, this is the colorful growth of a new celestial body. In detail, it's located in the center of an hourglass-shaped structure with a rotating accretion disk orbiting it. Basically, stars are born as soon as a cosmic cloud of dust and gas collapses under the weight of its own gravity. As a result, the matter in the center becomes so concentrated that the molecular hydrogen decays to atoms. As a result, a protostar is formed, but although it already shines with a dazzling light, it still has too little mass to ignite nuclear fusion. Only when the star baby has accreted further material, or, you might say, has eaten itself big and strong, does it condense to such an extent that fusion starts, and it becomes a full-fledged star. Located in the Taurus molecular cloud, about 450 light-years away from us, the stellar embryo in the web image is just 100,000 years old. A Startling Discovery According to our current knowledge, large gas giants such as Jupiter can form provided that the accretion disk around a young star contains sufficient material for planet formation. Normally, this applies to those radiating celestial bodies that have at least one solar mass. After the stony heart of the future planet has formed, it begins to bind the surrounding gas to itself. However, in the past, experts have also been able to identify some gas giants that lie in the realms of much lower mass red dwarfs. 
how planet formation is possible at all due to the reduced material abundance and the shorter existence span of the accretion disk in the UV-rich environment remains to be deciphered. However, a newly discovered exoplanet turns this already puzzling scenario even further on its head, since TOI 3757b has a density of just 0.27 grams per cubic centimeter. In other words, it appears to be extremely fluffy in colloquial terms. It is unofficially referred to as a marshmallow planet. In detail, the celestial body, which is about 580 light years away from us and has a diameter of about 90,000 miles, is about as large as Jupiter, but only reaches 25% of its weight. Thus, the distant marshmallow world has the lowest density ever observed for an exoplanet around a red dwarf. Since even water is four times denser, the planet could theoretically even float in a swimming pool. At present, the experts are still completely in the dark regarding the background of the exoplanet's formation. The usual explanation, which is based on the great heat that a celestial body receives from its host star, is out of the question in this case. But if the heat influxes are not conspicuously increased, how can the nature of the marshmallow planet be explained? In this regard, scientists discuss two possible factors, a metal deficiency and the influence of tidal forces. Because the red dwarf and its planetary companion contain only one-third as many heavy elements as in comparable constellations, the original accretion disk could have possessed significantly less material for planetary unfolding. However, as the exoplanet orbits its central star in a slightly eccentric orbit, it's also conceivable that the tidal forces acting on it are repeatedly stretching and compressing it. This tidal effect could be accompanied by an internal heating of the gaseous planet that ultimately sets off an inflation. Now the hopes of the experts rest once again on the use of the James Webb Telescope. An in-depth analysis should help shed some light on the fluffy planet mystery. The Pillars of Creation Primordial, majestic, overwhelming, there are truly many words to describe the colossal pillars of creation. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we can now marvel at the structure of the Eagle Nebula, 7,000 light years away, in a literally new light. It's no coincidence that the structures, which extend four light years into space, bear the word creation in their name. As a result of so-called photoevaporation, bubble-like bulges made of dust and molecular hydrogen form at the tips of the columns. And it is exactly here that new protostars are born from then on. If we now compare the web image with those made by its predecessor, Hubble, it becomes immediately clear how many details have eluded our eye in the past. Those areas where dust is most dense present themselves in a rich dark gray in the web image. The reddish glow at the top of the image in turn means that the dust deposits here appear much colder and sparser. The purple spheres dormant at the edges of the columns turn out on closer inspection to be those stellar babies still enclosed in a dense dust envelope. Older stars, which have already shed most of their dusty cocoons, greet us with a characteristic blue hue. Contact with the stuff of stars. As soon as it's time for Wolf Rayet stars to say goodbye to the cosmic stage, they give a last dynamic farewell party. In detail, we are dealing with the exposed cores of once massive celestial bodies. In the last phase of their life, the WR stars generate extremely strong stellar winds, which eject gigantic amounts of gas into the vastness of the cosmos. As part of this process, the celestial body loses almost its entire envelope, heating up very strongly in the same breath. As a result of surface temperatures of tens of thousands of degrees Fahrenheit, the star then shines with a dazzlingly bright light. On the web image, which shows us the wolf Rayet star, WR140, 5,000 light years away, we can admire a very special representative of this type of star. The special thing here is the fact that the celestial body is not alone, but forms a double system together with a large blue supergiant. The orbit of the stellar duo is such that both celestial bodies come very close to each other every eight years. However, this rendezvous of the stars is accompanied by a very powerful spectacle. While the stellar winds of the celestial bodies collide, the gas carried along compresses with incomparable intensity. This interplay causes heavier components, such as carbon, to condense out 
and form glowing hot dust. Webb's Miri spectrometer presents us with the structures that form in the process, reminiscent of stellar annual rings in a previously unattained level of detail. Accordingly, telescopes of the past were only capable of capturing a maximum of two dust rings. On the Webb image, on the other hand, we can see a whole 17 of these fascinating structures. The data collected by Miri also showed that the dusty rings sweep into the cosmos at a speed of almost 1,500 miles per hour. For the experts, WR-140 embodies a kind of astrophysical laboratory, the decoding of which will make it possible to understand even better the formation of dust and the persistence of the particles in the radiation-intensive environment. And now it's time for your opinion. What do you think about the James Webb Telescope's mission so far, and all the astronomical milestones we have yet to achieve in the future? As always, drop us your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's video in the comments below. Are you in the mood for more exciting contributions on the topic of space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the images in the credits. Thanks for your interest, take care, and we'll see you next time.